That was tricky. Nice chug it down. Yeah, that's apparently what you're doing. You never stop drinking, you, 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 you freaking camel. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Tropical Liquor. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. What? Wait, you think this is weird or something? This is suddenly weird. No, it's not weird. It's a game all about liquor, animal waifus, and a very lonely man, apparently. You know, this is not weird. We actually have checked games like this out in the past before. If you remember, we checked out Honey Pop, the spin-off game a while back. We even played that one game where I went to England as a foreign exchange student and tried to work my charm on the, the, the English honeys out there. Now, I'm checking this one out because people told me it's actually very similar to Honey Pop. And since Honey Pop 2 isn't out just yet, this is kind of like somewhere in between. We might as well give it a try because why not? Apparently, I want to get in trouble with YouTube. That's what I do. So, you know, we got liquor, delicious plot, animal waifus. What can possibly go wrong? Let's go into the game over here, get the ball rolling, and see exactly what we got. Let's go ahead and take a walk and see what type of senorita we run into here. In this resort. Oh, we get to choose which one I want to take a walk with, maybe. Okay, so we have Karen. We have Sakuraku. We have Kay. Lisa. Naomi, who's um, already at two. She's at a two because she's the tutorial girl who basically walks you through everything. Erica, Emma, and Anna. All right. Apparently, we got the, the brown lowly one here. You always got to have a small brown lowly waifu, don't you? I'll be honest with you. I like them tall. I am like them tall sometimes. I'm going to go with Anna over here. Let's see about taking a walk with Anna. Go find Anna. Get out there, you pervert. Go find Anna. The game openly mocks you, by the way, for playing the game. Right, you, you talk to me in Japanese. I forgot about that. <laughs> the game openly mocks you for playing the game, too. It's been like, you know, how long have you been, like, you know, vir how long have you been a virgin, you virgin? That's basically what it tells you in the tutorial. I felt kind of really sad about it. All right, so Anna. Oh, you, what do you want? I'm just here to talk. You want to shoot the breeze a bit, or do you mind? Where are you now? Good. Oh, so I'm like the last resort. You're so bored, you're like, I might as well hang out with this virgin over here. Okay. That works for me. What should I talk about? Tell me about your likes, and you seem to be misunderstood pretty easily. Well, let's find out what she likes first, huh? So we can kind of like wow her that way. Anna-san, could you tell me about the things you like? Well, that's a very good question, actually. Uh, I am a stranger. You don't just randomly tell strangers what you like. <laughs> End of discussion. Wait, no, no, no. You can do it, me. I need to find a way to dig up what Anna-san likes. W why? I told you this guy was like, you know, a loser. It's because I want to know more about you, Anna-san. Might as well, right? I love to get to know you better. I gotta tell you, she's very easily misled, huh? <laughs> I just really want to get to know you better. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I guess you talked me into it. Why not? I can't promise that. Sweet. Anna-san might be surprisingly easy. Wow. <laughs> That's a very um upfront thing to say about somebody. Oh, she's very easy. Oh, good, really. Okay. Pretty sure she'd get pissed if I said that, though. So I never will. Yeah, good idea. You like kids. How about that? Oh, no, it's fine. Yeah, you can like kids. I mean, apparently you have... Can I get the text out of the way here? Is there a way to do this? There's got to be a way to get out of the text, right? I gotta say, you do have the form for bearing children. I'm just gonna throw it out there, okay? I, I assure you the kids probably won't ever go hungry. With Anna as a mother, if you catch my drift here. Uh, I never said it was wrong or anything. I see. So Anna sounds fond of children. After that, we continue talking about what we enjoy. So, if we go to her profile, I guess we will find out that Anna-san likes kids, okay? The tutorial girl likes a manga. And by the way, the tutorial girl, since I did so well in the matching drinking game, yeah, we apparently got her drunk and she decided to put on a bikini for me. 
So now we could go out for a drink and I could show you guys this um, mini game, amazing mini game. It's a matching mini game. It's it's very like similar to Honey Pop, I believe. So if you played that, you kind of know what to do. So let's go out and invite for a drink. And because um, I think we're working on Anna, I think we send her out for a drinky poo here. So Anna, how about um, you and me go and have a drink with your affinity towards the kids, huh? I just want to go out for a drink. Is that a problem? Maybe I'm a raging alcoholic. Say, would you like to go for drinks? Yeah, you like that, huh? You're probably also a fellow raging alcoholic. You see, Anna? No reason to be cold towards me. Good. Just this once. We'll see about that. Well now, what should we do? I thought we were going to go drink. I could give you a gift. I got no money for gifts, unfortunately. I'm the loser. I'm somehow I could afford staying in a resort, but I don't got any money for gifts. So let's um, invite another girl. Wow, look at this guy. The balls in this dude right here, huh? Um, I, I don't have any gifts. I could buy some, but I got no money because I got to work first. Let's see about buying something for Anna. I mean, what is she going to like? Oh, you know what? I don't know what she likes other than kids. A babe? Oh. Well, if she likes kids, I guess she'll enjoy a baby bottle? <laughs> what kind of, a uh, kind of a gift is that? Oh, you like kids, huh? Here, have a baby bottle. I know you have no kids, but you like them, so it's, it's the same thing. All right, there we got the bottle. Let's invite out for a drink. Is $33 enough to go out drinking? I hope so. Let's give it a try again. So this time we have the baby bottle to offer to her, and hopefully we can go out and get a drink now. And uh, let's try this out again. Okay, so let's see. We got the gifts now. You like kids? So have a baby bottle. That's how I woo, that's how I impress women. You know, I give them the most literal gift. I take out the baby bottle and give it to Anna's son. Oh. That's not quite the response I was hoping for. I almost have a feeling that she probably thinks that I'm giving her the baby bottle because I want to, like, you know, fornicate with her so that we have kids. Like, hey, here's a baby bottle, let's have sex and we have kids. You like kids, right? There you go. Uh, because you said you like kids. <laughs> you, you did say that, and it's a weird gift, I know. <laughs> Believe me, I thought the same thing, but that was the only gift available that kind of, you know, went with kids. Wouldn't you need it once you have a kid? Just a little joke from me. <laughs> you telling me you don't start saving up baby items as a young person? So once you have kids, you already have them stored up? That's crazy. I, I know, I wasn't implying that just yet. Oh, but if you had a partner, huh? You know, we could get a couple of drinks. Mm-hmm. Oh, I bet. Uh-huh. By for now, maybe that means she does want one in the future? Again, I end up thinking that Anna-san is a pretty interesting person. To be perfectly honest, I can't say I didn't want to see this kind of reaction. No, it's not. It's not sexual harassment. It was just a gift. It wasn't sexual harassment. Don't call the cops on me, Anna. It was just a little joke. Uh oh. Well, this is no good. No, really, I. Look what you did, Falcon. In game. No, no, really. Thus it continues in an infinite loop. Neither side budges with no actual progress being made. But anyway, back to the main topic. How about what? I do. As a matter of fact, I want to show it off to the viewers. We could do it, yeah. 
It seems like a really easy way to get out of sexual harassment. I don't think that would fly in the real world. Sure. You leave me no choice. You're, you're, you're threatening me with legal actions and ramifications here. Alright, let's do that. Well then, I guess this all worked out. <laughs> all that worked out? I imagine there's probably easier ways to talk to a girl, man. Well now, what should we do? Liquor game easy mode? Oh, I guess as you get further and further in, it becomes more difficult. I see. Yes, I do. Oh, I'm sure. No, we're going this way because you're threatening me with um, legal actions. And I don't necessarily want to, you know, wind up in jail, even in a anime video game. Especially, probably, in an anime video game. So, how this works out is you gotta mem- Hey, Anna. Anna, shut up. <laughs> Sorry, just, just be quiet. We gotta match up the cubes. Um, you gotta remember, it's like a matching memory game, so you gotta remember where they add, but they also move upwards. Like, the more cubes you match, the, the ice obviously goes up. So you'll see what I mean here pretty soon. So let's, um, go to game start. Alright, this is a timer that we have to memorize this. So we have to match him up, right? So we're gonna start off with... Boom. No, this is the... We'll start off with the easy one, or the hard one, which is gonna be these two, and then this should float up, but we'll still make it work. So check this out. Let's go to... Refill. And we know all the other colors are next to each other. So this is the other one we have to worry about. And now we can do boom, boom. Boom, boom. 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 Simple. Of course, this is the easy one. Once it's spreading the colors around, it'll probably be a lot harder then. So let's see here. Got it. Uh-huh. Oh, brain, don't fail me now. Yeah, you heard that right. She's, um, getting frisky because she's getting drunk. Oh, I bet it is. Okay, um, oh boy. Okay, I think I got it. We're gonna mix, um, these two first. And we set you here. Oh, you moved up. That's fine. That's still gonna be this and this. Oh boy. <laughs> Tricky. We got it. Well, next two, and then the rest are very simple. Uh huh. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. How much are you gonna drink? Have you not had enough? Not gonna get drunk that easy, no kidding. I think I got it, I think. Um... Okay. I forgot the other ones. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> that one was tricky. Nice chug it down. Yeah, that's apparently what you're doing. You never stop drinking, you, 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 you freaking camel. Um, okay. Together, together, together. So we could do these two. Last two. Okay, I think I remember. I think I remember. So... That, that. That, that. Next one will be here. And the rest are easy. And this should be the last one I want to say, right? You gotta stop drinking. You're drinking way too much. Damn right. A oh, perfect two. And how do you figure I'm gonna do that? I, I didn't tell you to keep drinking. I win the liquor game. Yes, I won. Which means that baby bottle thing wasn't sexual harassment. How easy that was to get out of that, huh? Are we fine with that? <laughs> Damn right it is. Let's at least not fight over something so petty. With that, we reach a ceasefire. Thankfully, I'm not officially branded a sexual harasser. <laughs> That's very good. 
Okay, now, where were we? What shall I have you do? Oh, wow, okay. What are you, what are you talking about now? Oh, that's right. You you win the, the, the liquor game and they have to do something that you want. It's kind of like a dare. Let's go with a light jab. A simple question. Okay, then, Anna-san. Tell me your three sizes. <laughs> I'm just trying to get those measurements, baby. You know how it is. Three sizes? Oh, that's right, my three size so so no, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I even said it, I try to say it in Japanese for you. Sure. <laughs> okay, here's a question. Any female viewers that might still be watching or even gave us a chance, is it a very common, like, do you guys know right off the top of your head, like, what your measurements are? Like, here in this game, I'm, I'm led to pretend that all everybody here knows it off the top of their head. Is this like a very common thing? Like, I can understand bra size, right? That's understandable. You know, it's like if you ask me what my underwear size is or my boxers, I would know that. You know, bras are kind of the same thing. But measurements, is that like a very common thing? Like, I know exactly what my, my measurements are. But apparently every girl here in this game knows it off the top of their head. Sure, Anna. Perfectly clear. Relax already, I got you. <laughs> I'm gonna go spread it on the internet. Look, Anna, just get it over with already, huh? Is it because she's embarrassed about it? Anna-san slows her breathing and nervously begins to speak. Okay. Hey, I, I have no idea what that means. I could only guesstimate based on the numbers and her figure that it's pretty damn big. <laughs> In a good way, mind you, of course. 95, 57, 99. I can't quite tell through her clothes, but... Mm-hmm. That's what I meant. Her hips are 99 centimeters around. So Anna-san's a butt kind of person... <laughs> <laughs> well, how about that? I happen to be a butt type of guy. That works out just well, huh? And on top of that, her chest is a 95. <laughs> I feel like that Wayne's World thing, extreme close-up. Extreme close-up, whoa! Whoa, okay. What, is Wayne's World outdated too? Let me get out of here, Grandpa. Which means she's a breast kind of person too. She's apparently got everything. I see she's a dual <laughs> she's a dual wielder. That's one way to call it. Wait, what the heck am I even thinking about? I don't know what you're thinking about, a dual wielder? Oh yeah, yeah, like that's so awkward to do after you tell me your numbers. Uh no, sorry. But I mean when you told me you were 99, I just had to look. I gotta tell you, you ain't got nothing to worry about back there. It bothers you? Alright. I don't know, I think you have a very lovely butt, exactly. You, you tell him, Falcon, in anime form. Are we really back to this again? Again with the- exactly, is what I said. But I'm glad that I got to know more about Anna-san. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Plus, we got the extreme close-ups, too. So... pro... oh. Let's call it a night for now, yeah? As a matter of fact, it is. Mm-hmm. Let's head back, then. Today was a pretty fulfilling day. Yeah, no kidding. Got drunk and I got measurements too. What more can apparently a nerd living in a resort with no money want? Look at this room. Look, I mean, look at the size of this room over here. He's got, he's even got a beachside view and like chill spot too. Good God Almighty, how does this happen? I mean, this is a Japanese thing. Maybe I should move to Japan. Maybe I should. Well, 
I believe we're out of time, guys. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. This is um, Tropical Liquor. You know, don't take this video serious. I just wanted to check it out because I like to have fun with random stuff. As long as it's amusing to me, I enjoy them. And, you know, this is actually pretty fun. I, I like to have fun and just make fun of things. And that's what this is all about. Now, if you guys want to see a bit more, do let me know. Not really sure about it just yet. Might be a bit too dialogue and text heavy for me. But if you guys want to see some more, I'll make an exception. But it's a, a pretty fun game, especially if you're into the whole visual dating novel thing. And you're into the, the delicious anime plot, too. Don't forget the anime plot. I will catch you guys next time.